Well, hello there, everyone. Gameplay vids 24/7 here. Welcome back to my Clicker Heroes 2 walkthrough for the PC, guys. We are back here, currently on World 12. That is right. We completely crushed World 11. We ran it five times today, so we pretty much milked it for all this experience, guys. Okay. Now uh, we are on World 12. Things are going to get a little bit more difficult than usual because we have fast economy and slow monster growth. Now. The slow monster growth, I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not more than anything, but the fast economy, I'm a little bit worried. Um, it's 207% item costs, okay? So it's going to be a bit interesting. I do hope that you all do enjoy. Please remember, of course, to hit that like and subscribe button to help support the series as always. Um, you guys have made this, as I said, every video. We're still the number one Clicker Heroes 2 series, and it's all thanks to you guys out there. You have no idea how grateful I am. Please be sure to join my Discord as well. Link's in the description below so you never miss an episode. And be sure to leave a comment as well, guys. I want to know, what build are you all right now? I think I've asked this already, but I didn't get the response I needed, guys. I need to know, what build are all you guys out there that are playing? Um, I need to know, if, are you a haste build, a crit build, a pure, uh, you know, just click damage build? I don't know what build you'd be out there. Are you a mana build? Who knows, dude? Let me know in the comments. Either way, let's kick it off now, shall we? So, uh, what random stats will we get here? I'll lose 2% critical chance, but I'll gain 5% haste. Nah, I don't want that. Let's just go bonus gold chance. Uh, level up all my gear. I'm not going to turn on the automator right now because I want to do this myself. I have upgraded my skill tree as well. We've really, really started like started advancing in the top right corner. We're trying to push our way to critical power surge. Uh, a lot of you guys have recommended I get that as soon as possible, so that's what I will do. I don't know if we need to get uh, critical killing surge either, but you know, it's just it, all that does is reduce the cooldown of power surge, which I don't mind waiting to, like the. The extra 10 seconds for it anyway, so that's fine. Uh, my power surge right now gives us, uh, what is this? A 390% damage increase there, or clicks will do 390% damage, so that's pretty good. I'm just going to try and stack up on my big clicks here, guys. Two random totems in the same lane. What is this? Now that is pretty lucky. Let's grab all those there. Just went for a haste increase there as well. Good stuff. I'm not exactly sure how hard this is going to be, guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long for us to beat it. Uh, this is obviously World 12 I'm talking about here, by the way. We are up to Zone 20. I have been experiencing a lot of crashes in the game lately. I don't know if it's because I'm getting further and further into the game. Uh, but it does concern me a bit. Also, I have max mana here, so I'm just going to use Auto Attack Storm to actually start wasting some of my mana. We do have full energy as well, so theoretically I could actually activate Click Torrent if I wanted to. But I feel like Click Torrent crashes my game, bro. Like, I don't know why, but when I stack the big clicks and Click Torrent together, things get really messy for the game. Even right now, you can see FPS drops. My ga like my computer is a legitimate gaming rig, guys. I've spent thousands of dollars on this. I have a NVIDIA, I think, 1070. So there's no reason why Clicker Heroes 2 should be lagging. I can play the most recent games on the HD graphics, man. Like, 1080p, no problems. I can record it as well. But Clicker Heroes 2, a little clicker game, is lagging out my computer. And everyone I've spoken to has had their own little issues with this game. Like, I understand it's in beta form, so I cannot wait for it to get all ironed out. Um, but yeah, don't worry, it's not my computer having a hissy fit with this game, trust me. Just activated Power Surge again. Gotta make sure I always have that Power Surge active. Um, you guys have to remember, I am preferably an active build instead of like an automated build. Because I like to play on, like, in front of the camera, of course. Uh, so you really got to spec into that active play. I am preferring critical increases now in the talent tree or the skill tree more than anything. Because I'm trying to make sure I get that max damage boost, okay? A lot of you guys have recommended now I've done enough in haste. I now have that unlimited build. So we can start actually specking into crit build. Which I think I'm going to do, obviously. We're versing level 49 monsters and I'm only uh, on zone 22 right now. So it's a bit of a situation, I'm not going to lie. I mean, ideally, we can knock this all out, though, with the big clicks that we're spamming up right now. We have almost 2,000 big clicks already here, guys, all stacked up, ready to roll. There we go. 2,000, lovely. Let's try and push through here. Going to upgrade the helmet there, level 60 helmet. Just going to continue to try and level up as much gear as I possibly can. The problem is multi-clicks as well is sucking up a lot of energy. It says it's going to click 435 times, but it really doesn't. I think it caps out at, like, 96 clicks. 
I mean, if this thing had the clicks that it said it does, it would be unstoppable. My build is specced for multi-clicking, but because the game is currently glitching out on multi-clicks, I can't use it at its full potential. So, yeah, hopefully that next patch will really fix the multi-click issue. Or do something about it, at least, you know what I mean? Because right now, it's screwing me over big time. I, I know for 100% fact it's, it's messing my build big time, guys. So big clicks is back to 1k. Uh, let's oh, level up the pants there. I'm just very curious to hear everyone else's experiences with Clicker Heroes 2. Um, I know mine might have been like pretty much 95% positive. I really loved every moment of it almost, except for the crashing. And the lag spikes. That's the only thing I can complain about. And I'm sure the developers know about it. There's no way they don't. Um, I just haven't bothered messaging them because I'm sure they have enough uh, issues on their plate, obviously. I'm going to continue to play it, though. Obviously, I'm going to try and smash this out and get to level 200. We're on 139 right now, which is very nice. Oh, there's an energy totem. Thank you, game. Uh, so, pants are up to level 30 now. Excellent. Gonna level up the energize quickly. Gonna level up the gloves there as well. Beautiful stuff. Just gonna continue to spam big clicks as much as I can here. This is the first time we've actually versed the level 25 boss on this zone. Oh, should I say well, sorry. So we'll see if we can take him down in the first attempt. Just gonna use my, um, hang on, what is this? It's lagging a bit here. Mana crit as well. I'm gonna start combining all my abilities together here a bit. Let's see if we can keep this up right now. I have, I have to beat this clock. If I can beat the clock, we'll be okay. I need power surge as well. We need power surge back, bro. Just slowly. Oh, so close to power surge. Yes, I got my power surge. Great. Okay, good. So now that I have my power surge, we may be able to beat this boss on the first attempt. It's looking pretty promising right now. Just have to keep on spamming here, dude. It's looking good. It actually is looking very good right now, to be honest. Let me stack up on the big clicks yet again. The one excellent thing I can say about this game more than anything is the soundtrack. The soundtrack really gets you pumped up and ready to fight. You just have to continue to push, though, through the hard bosses, though, don't you? At least it has a good soundtrack, though. Up to a thousand big clicks, almost. There we go. Boss is almost defeated on the first attempt here, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful. Now we're almost done. Done. Beautiful. First attempt, knock down that boss. That's great. That's legit exactly what you want to see, dude. So now we're back in the fight here. Getting all my gear leveled up here as much as I can as well. Level up my boots, 65%. Level 30 gloves, nice. Gonna make sure I have big clicks still active, dude. I wish big clicks just stayed on, man. I don't, I hate activating it. I guess technically I could use the automator to actually activate it for me, which I think I might do. I'm just going to use the automator, dude. <laughs> Watch this, everyone. This is going to be a cool little trick, I reckon. I'm going to use the automator just to level up or activate my big clicks for me because I cannot be bothered pressing it anymore. I'm going to put it on a four-second cooldown here. So big clicks is always going to be active now at this point in the game, and that's all thanks to that automator. That's a cool little trick I hope you guys enjoy using. I only just thought of it then, really. Very nice. It's looking promising. Almost up to level... I keep saying levels, but technically they're zones. Almost up to zone 30, guys. Big Clicks is now over 4,000, so the automator is definitely doing its job. <laughs> Holy hell. And it's not wasting a lot of my energy here, either. It's more Big Clicks that's sucking up a lot of my energy. Oh, not Big Clicks, sorry. Multi-click. 19 energy for multi-click, guys. Just remember that. And it's only using 96 clicks instead of... Let's see here. 406 clicks. 435 clicks. Bloody game. 
Oh, so still not out of energy, which is excellent for us. Power Surge is still active. We're still in this fight, guys. Still pushing. Wonderful stuff. Do a clickable there. Nice. I don't even know why I bother getting my gear to 110 anymore. I think at this point in the game, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I feel like more you should just worry about maybe the, the highest gear that you have. I feel that helps you out a lot more than the lower tier gear now at this point, dude. Okay. Awesome. I absolutely love Power Surge, man. So powerful. Here we go. What's going on here? Time zone. We should be able to beat this, surely. Let me just turn off the automator now so I can regain some energy. We're on 10,000 multi-click. Ah, uh, no, big clicks. It's definitely done its job. Good job, automator. Thank you very much. I'm gonna try and level up that cape next here, guys. 56%. Nice. Power Surge is still active. I really did doubt Power Surge, by the way. I wouldn't have actually thought it was so good later on in the game. At the start, I thought it was useless, dude. So, yeah, show me. 82% now. Nice. All right, very good. Just got to think here as well. Do I want to use Auto Attack Storm? Yes, I do. Just activated Auto Attack Storm because we have way too much mana. It's not good to have that much mana, dude. So, yeah. Just activated it then. Level up my boots as well, I think, instead of just a cape. Boots are at 71% now in total. Okay. Start to slow down a bit here. Why is that? Oh, Power Surge is off. Power Surge is just coming off cooldown now. So I think there's like a 10 second cooldown for Power Surge in total for me. Uh, by the time it runs out, guys, it's about a 10 second wait, I suspect. Maybe 15 seconds max. That's okay. I don't feel like that deserves a skill point or anything. Because I'd rather spec into something else like... Um, next one's going to be item cost reduction. Or if we go for bigger big clicks. That's the thing. Increases the damage of the big clicks by 125%. That might actually be very helpful. This is the problem here. I have to be careful where I spec into. But what I was planning was to follow the path up to item reduction cost. Crit damage increase. The Wrath of Frag's worth. Uh, more big clicks, then take a left down to mana crit damage, improved power surge, equipment helmet, uh, crit chance increase by 2%, mana crit damage, and critical power surge. It's a long path, but I'm sure we can get there eventually. We'll be around 150 level by the time we get to it though, that's the thing. Alright, so we're pretty much smashing through this zone right now at least. What else should we level up here? Should we go for the cape, guys, or what? Cape's at level 70, boots are at level 90. Not too major of a difference there, really. There we go, level 80 now in the cape. 59% in total. There's a nice big clickable there I actually just missed. Whoops. Go for 100 there on the boots then. Now doing 80% of the overall damage. Nice. Activate power surge. Beautiful. All right, big clicks is out. Let's activate uh, the automator yet again, everyone. We just ran out of big clicks, but that's okay. The automator is to the rescue. And now I have a new sword. The new sword is now carrying us through the damage here. Very nice. This should be a pretty smooth run through well uh, 12, everyone. I really don't see any big problems coming up. I could be wrong though, you never know, but we'll find out very, very soon, I'm sure. Can buy a new piece of gear. Lovely stuff. Up to zone 34 right now. These stupid giant mushrooms, by the way. <laughs> Okay. 
Cape's now at level 100. We've got 54% there. Overall damage increase. I guess it is dealing 54% of my total damage, sorry. Sword's now dealing 40%. One set of 10 levels into this gear, guys. It really works wonders. Power Surge has around a... Why is the Power Surge cooldown going up? Can you guys see that? The Power Surge cooldown is actually going up in time. Who knows, bro? Seriously, that was the weirdest thing I've seen. That was a very, very strange game. Right, let's turn off uh, the automator here. Recoup some of that beautiful energy. Activate Power Surge again. Keep us in the game. Wonderful. Our build's actually holding up pretty well early on here on well 12, everyone. Very impressive. Level 62 mobs, by the way. Reversing double the... The, the mobs are actually double nearly the level of the zone I'm on. Well, that's pretty ridiculous, dude. And it's going to keep on growing as well. Okay. Can we level up anything else here that's actually going to help us? Ideally, that sword's really the only thing I'm going to be focusing on now at this point in the game. We can get a new piece of gear, but I'd rather level up that sword, I reckon. There you go. Sword's now level 63. Uh, no, level 63. Level 40 with 63%. Of our overall damage being dedicated from it. 2% critical chance increase yet again here, guys. Activate Energize. Turn on that Automator. Let's recoup some of those big clicks. Helmet's been leveled up. 18% overall damage being dedicated from that as well. Power Surge is almost off its cooldown. Pretty much cruising through World 12 right now. Power Surge is off. Activated it again. Now let's go back on the grind. Big damage being dealt there by Power Surge. Wow. Fantastic. Swords now dealing 90% of our total damage. That is what you want to see, bro. Level 30 on the helmet, 36% damage coming from that. Just recouping energy now. Turning off that automator, we have 2,000 big clicks, so that's okay. Gotta love having that pretty much unlimited mana source, man. Fantastic. Just leveled up, guys. Actually, just leveled up then. Sweet. Okay, item cost reduction you reckon we should build into, or what? Quick damage increase there, so we can go down the right path. This is the shortest path I feel though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One extra. You can go through and pick up all that crit boost. Hard, man. Hard choices ahead. We'll get the... Alright, all right, we'll cut through the middle, maybe. Or should we go around? Just a double damage, quickly. Hmm. Let's go, item. We'll cut through the middle, I think. Get a crit damage increase. We'll get one there as well. Yeah, right, we'll cut through the middle. Screw it. I'll take the safest route. Wasn't confident then we're going around. Hopefully I made the right decision, hey? Just got a 2% crit increase there. Luck room, we'll take that. 5% critical chance increase again. Beautiful, thanks game. We have a lot of energy here. Gonna activate click torrent. Since we have so much energy. As you can see, click torrent's not really that beneficial for me at this point, man. But well, I don't believe it is anyway. We've actually got to activate the automator again to keep up those big clicks. Unless we use multi-click, we're not going to go too far. So we're going to have to start using multi-click a bit more here. Let's pray it doesn't crash my whole game. Let's 
looking all right. I am using multi-click more and more here. As you can see, the energy is starting to go down. We want to keep our energy below 60% at all times for a damage increase. I think it's from discharge, if I'm correct. So click torrent's just working its magic here. Probably up the chest now. And we have a ring. We have a chest and a ring and a helmet and a sword. There are our next item sets. Level up the ring, 27% there. Power Surge just ran out, by the way. Power Surge is now back up and running. Fantastic. Just got to think, look at the shop. We have increased gold for 20 minutes, so we can buy gold. Nah, yeah, I'm alright. Turn off this automator quickly. Doing super well here, by the way. Far out. I'm actually surprised how well this build's working. I do want to try and waste all my energy here, though. So I'm going to try and click, manually click down here as much as I can. I want to get it off the click torrent. I just don't know if I can now at this point. I'm using too much energy. There's surely got to be a way I can get rid of click torrent. I swear once I activate it, I cannot turn it off. This is what I was avoiding using at the start, but I thought, what the hell? What could go wrong? Ah, yes, I did it. I actually wasted enough energy. Awesome. Okay. And now it's lagging my game out. See what I mean by click torrent, everyone? It's a risky move to use. I'm not kidding. You just don't know if it's going to break your game. 10% click damage increase there. Using big clicks a bit more. On that time zone, we're just beating this time zone here as well. Power Surge has been activated, so we're definitely going to beat it now. That's what you want to see, dude. Awesome. Forty-one zone right now. Time zone's been crushed. I do hope you guys are enjoying the longer episodes as well. I appreciate you all tuning in. Okay. Doing very well. Gloves increase, pants increase, ring increase, nice. Just trying to think about auto attack storm. Don't wanna I do wanna continue to obviously keep that on. I have to start using more mana. I have no abilities to use mana everyone really. But legit. I'm pretty much maxing out on mana, man. I'm doing that well with the haste build. It's a bit difficult now to actually use all my mana up properly. I mean, energize will obviously spam it, and we can waste it if we really wanted to. But it's not going to benefit me at all. It doesn't like I'm just going to continue to spam energize and waste waste mana for pretty much no reason, really. Okay, doing pretty well now. Excellent. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. I reckon everyone. We actually made some very nice progression tonight. Pretty happy with it, man. Pretty proud. Um, just. Cruising through well 12 now at this point in the game, all right? I guess tomorrow we'll come back and we'll smash it out even more. We'll probably beat well 12 and probably be on well 13. So yeah, as long as you guys have the faith in me, I'll keep on going, bro. Either way, thank you all so much for tuning in to another episode of Clicker Heroes 2. I'm, of course, Gameplay Bits 24-7. I will see you all tomorrow for the next part of the series, okay? Thank you, everyone. I will see you all on my Discord and, of course, my YouTube channel. Catch you around, guys. See you later.